Super Mario Maker 2 is a game rated E by the ESRB. Product provided by Nintendo. Good morning, and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Plays. We are back for the last day of the launch week event for uh, for Morning Mario for Super Mario Maker 2. And uh, we got some more levels to play in story mode. You want jobs? I got jobs. So level 8 is Shoe Stopper. These shoe goombas are too much, but the kicks they're rocking are useful because they let you walk over spike traps. The shoes probably don't smell great, but you can always press R to take them off. Oh, and if you find a big shoe, you can slam down by tilting the left stick down in the air. From Celebrity DJ. So the shoes are coming back, which they should. They're just very fun items. Um, and we're going to be stomping some goombas to death. Which, when you say it like that, sounds violent because it is. Snow! Snow! Is this... Is this original music? I think this is original music. Like, I know that they said Koji Kondo was going to be producing some music. I didn't know if it was just going to be remixes, but like... I'm not 100% sure, and I'm going to need you guys to confirm, but I, I think this is original Mario music. And that's really exciting. Like, that's super, super cool. Alright, so now I can safely traverse the landscape. And... <laughs> and de deny Goombas of their shoes, because no one gets to wear shoes but me. Big Red in the house. Oh god! Big Red almost losing his shoe. Oh, 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 oh. Can I not jump on them? Or did I just do that badly? It's cool. It's cool, I'll just kill you. And then I'll feel better about myself! Oh, dang. Give me this. Thanks. Get big from the checkpoint, and then give me the big shoe. The big shoe always makes me feel better, because what's going to stand in your way on the big shoe? Get some air! Get a 1-up out of that, too. Okay, this is, uh, this is even better. Oh, poop! Oh, bad! Bad poops! <laughs> Very bad poops! That's unfortunate. I can kill you. Yeah, I can... I can kill you guys with this. It's just... Darn! I guess the flying shoe is better than that shoe, but darn I wish I had the big shoe, because I'm pretty sure I could have broken these blocks. Poop. Poop. Let's fly a little, little bit. I need to test this better. Can I seriously not kill Goombas in the normal shoe? No, I can. I must be landing in the worst possible place. Give me the give me the flying shoe. There we go. Cause if I can fly, I can get these coins. And again, coins are pretty beneficial. Mm. I got there! Is there a warp zone? There is actually a platform up here! I guess just to make you feel accomplished. And I do, thank you. I'll take it. Back into uh the music. I mean, I feel bad if this is if this is just a, a recycled Mario tune I've never heard, but like, I've never heard it. If if it's recycled, it must be from something obscure or Super Mario Brothers 2, which a lot of people haven't played. All right, we got some coins. Uh, that's going to be uh, enough to work on the next one. And again, we should start all projects as soon as possible. Main hall first floor done. It's starting to look good. Starting to look really good. Blue Toad's bored. So let's give him something to do. Alright. Uh, we can see the whole castle. You have new building options. So that's going to take a bit. Yikes. Um, yeah, this still makes the most sense, I think. You sure about this? Absolutely. And also, as you progress, the levels are harder and they, get, they pay out more, so it's fine. Thanks. Construction started. Blue Toad's taking the lead. Get out there and do some more jobs. All right. So next up is level nine, the Key Master, and this is a, a difficulty of three. Hey, so I made a ghost house. I'll pay anyone who can make it to the end. Here's a little hint: you'll need four keys. More if you want to get the true ending. Wink from Agent Two. This is a common thing from uh, Mario Maker One. A lot of people did um, 
I mean, levels that used keys, but uh, the idea of there being true endings, that was always a common thing. So uh, we're going to see how this plays out. Thanks. I get to I get to be big. And apparently I can um <coughs> I can come back here anytime I need more uh mushrooms. I get a pow block, I've got a piggy switch, I've got a trampoline. Oh, this is gonna be I'm taking this with me, but I don't know if I need this. I'm just gonna set this here. So this is the new thing. Oh, I? Oh, actually, I brought the right thing. <laughs> Lucky me. So that'll help me get up here. So that's one of the new... Well, maybe I didn't bring the right thing. Crap. <laughs> How do I... Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, well, that's one of the new enemies. Uh, they are windy. Everyone knows it's windy. Oh, and of course, I knew that because it's, it's up there. So, um, do, do any of my stuff... Oh, my stuff comes back. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I'm just gonna take... I'm just gonna take pal blocks with me and assume that I'm right. So I'm gonna need more if I want the true ending. So I'm guessing that there's multiple things I can do here. Uh... That doesn't help me. The P switch is what I need for this one. Okay, so basically it's checking... It's checking a room. And then after you check a room and you know what you need, grabbing the correct item. And items respawn there, which is really nice. And then getting the key. And four keys is how you win, but you're going to need more keys. There we go. Cool. Two keys. All right, so there's, I think, four other rooms. I'm just going to pop my head in here and see what I need, since I'm on my way back anyway. Trampoline. Trampoline. Probably. <laughs> that, ma <laughs> that makes the most sense to me. Uh, because I need to jump high, and trampolines are for that. <laughs> That's what they do. So let's go up the pipe and put it on the right and then jump up in the air. Hopefully I can... Can I get that height? That's pretty extreme. The answer is yes, and I got it. Uh, I'm just going to bring this with me to the next one in case I need a trampoline on the next one. I kind of doubt I do, but you never know. And some of the items can probably be used a little interchangeably anyway. And, you know, some of them I might not even need... Items! Like this one. Alright, I now have enough keys to actually finish the level. But I want the true ending, wink. So, that's those. Let's run to this side. Uh... With those guys, I can't imagine that I need this. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was... <coughs> Almost died! Almost died! And there's... I don't think there's a checkpoint. I'm pretty sure there's no checkpoints. I'm actually go back up and get a mushroom. Because, uh, I hate death. I hate death. Yes, I do. I hate death. How about you? And, uh, the final thing... Let's just go in here and see what we could pot... And some of these, we didn't even need anything. I bet we need two trampolines. That's my bet. Jump, Mark. Okay, I need I need another trampoline. I'm I'm I feel pretty certain of that. They're they're trying to teach you the concept of multi trampoline. So let's acknowledge that and throw one over here. Throw one over there. Now they'll both jump, and then I can get on top of both. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is every freaking key that you can get, except for the one that's up there, but I need the P-switch for that. And I didn't die. And I'm glad I didn't die, because that would have been sad. That would have been very sad. 
<laughs> Seven keys. So let's see how how uh, they decide to do this. So one here. Oh, I have way too many keys. I am an overachiever, apparently. So this will get me to the end. But I can also do this. Oh, no, you did need all the keys. Wait, do I have enough keys? Am I missing a key? Where? I did all six doors! I swear to God, is there a hidden key? Or is it... It is kind of interesting that the level doesn't just end right here, right? Oh, wait. I thought I could walk past the... Where was the other key? I really didn't expect a Nintendo ghost house to stump me, but it did. I'm slightly offended. Darn it. Really? Crap. All right, whatever. That's fine. Good work. And we finished the West Hall. And Blue Toad is still working as hard as he can. Bless his little heart. Dang, man. So that was, uh... That was nine. That was nine. So we've, uh, we did episode... We did... Level one on episode one, then we did two and three, uh, four and five, six and seven, and then eight and nine. And that is actually going to be it for our story mode right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, this weekend, continue to create and play levels over at MorningMario.com. Again, even if you're not a creator, we still need your help. You guys have to rate the levels for us to know what is good to bring to the channel. So we sincerely appreciate your help in, in submitting cool levels that you found, submitting cool levels that you've made, or playing the levels that have already been submitted so we know what to show on the channel. And uh, we are going to start doing user submissions on Monday. I'm very, very pumped. Again, if uh, you still don't have a copy of Super Mario Maker 2 for the Switch, you can get a digital copy over at HumbleBundle.com. Uh, just use the link in the description or on screen, and you will be able to support Mal and myself in the process, and we sincerely appreciate it. Thank you all so much. All right, folks, it's been months. Morning Mario is back. I feel at home again. And uh, I know Dan is excited about all this. Thank you. That's that's a lot of fireworks. That, but yes, I'm glad you're I'm glad you're excited, Dan. Uh, we will see you guys on Monday for more Morning Mario. <laughs>